In the Vatican this morning, Pope Francis delivered his second Easter message in St. Peter's Square. Our Alan Pizzi is there. And Alan, what was the Pope's message today? Good morning, Nora. Well, you may not believe it, but the piazza behind me was sun-drenched when the Pope spoke, and there were about 150,000 people jammed in here listening to him. In keeping with the theme of his papacy, he derided what he called the immense wastefulness in the world when so many people go hungry. But the message is called Urbi et Orbi, to the city and the world, and he used that to plunge straight into international diplomacy. He called on the international community to what he called negotiate immediately, boldly negotiate, a long overdue peace in Syria. And the Pope and the Vatican are proving masters at tailoring uh, the message to the moment and noting that uh, this year the Orthodox Easter and the Catholic Easter fall at the same time. Some of the hymns were in Russian and then there was a deft segue into a call for peace in the Ukraine. This Pope is, uh, he's been noted for doing things off the cuff, but he stayed right on his message today. And then when he did his final moment at the end of it all, he does his little tour in the Pope Mobile. He didn't uh, reach out and kiss any babies or hug anybody, but he did do once again uh, the kind of gestures that have pulled people into him and that uh, make a lot of people listen to his message. So his second Urbi et Orbi message to the city and the world was very, uh, very Francis, if you will, and it was extremely well received, Nora. Alan Pizzi, thank you.